Guys, I really enjoyed this beautifully shot horror movie. Thank you. And I loved all the different stories and jumping from one to another in the different timelines. It was kind of like a bit of a puzzle and it made me feel like a bit of a detective trying to like connect them all together. Okay. So was that your intention for the audience to feel this? Yeah, totally. I think that you know, first and foremost, it's the structure is sort of baked into all the movies of the franchise. Um, but I think that it so much of what is so engaging to me about the earliest of the Grudge movies is that puzzle nature. You know, it becomes such a more interactive experience for the audience, um, and I like. And I, I like the audience to not be passive and just watching the movie and being entertained by it. Like the movie does require a little bit of work, mm -hmm. but I also think it kind of puts you into the headspace of Andrea Riseborough's character Muldoon, who's also putting this all together. Um, and I think it's like a different layer of satisfaction when you get to the end and you sort of sit there and put the movie together in your head. Um, and I think that it just becomes a more engaging movie experience. Definitely. Now, we have to talk about that iconic shower scene, John, and it's also on the movie poster. So what was it like filming that scene? And, you know, what was that experience like on set? It was cold because <laughs> uh, we did not shoot it on a stage. We shot it on, in, on location, and so um, we were running out of hot water. <laughs> 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 so it was a bummer. <laughs> but, but John looks warm really well. That's yeah, like one of his yeah. main skill sets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always said I could use an extra hand when washing my hair. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go into a haunted house. Very yes. good, very good, yeah. very good. So just like in the movie, when you walk into the house, you're the cursed house, you're forever changed and somewhat connected to the others in the house. So I wanted to ask you, after making The Grudge, are you guys forever connected and have changed? Changed since this experience as cast and crew? Certainly. <laughs> John and I dream this <laughs> telepath. Did you do you remember first seeing the Grudge movies? What was your reaction when you watched the previous ones? I first saw Juan. I'm sort of like a completionist when it comes to movies, so like I started at Juan One, The Curse, which predates the Grudge. Um, when the when the Sarah Michelle Gellar grudge came out, I was in middle school and I was very, very, very scared of horror movies. So I was like, well, I can never watch that. Um, and sort of my love of like, as I got more into horror, um, my love of Japanese horror kind of led me to the Juan films. And um, I was really impressed at how simple and minimal they were. You know, they're especially the earliest of the movies. They were shot on VHS tapes. They it felt like you were watching someone's home movies that just had ghosts in the background, and that made it so much scarier. And I think that while audiences now, at the theatrical level, are not as interested in seeing something quite so lo-fi, we really wanted to at least like spiritually to capture that essence of like a really real grounded story that also has ghosts rather than being like a ghost movie. Well, I really enjoyed, I know that's a weird way to describe the movie, but I enjoyed the movie and um, can't wait to see it again actually. Yeah, oh, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!